Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be doing this video for you guys today. I've been trying to figure out whether I want to do like a monthly favorites video. I figured I was a little too late in the game for November, so I just figured that maybe I would do like my current obsessions, things that I just have really been loving lately. And you guys Snapchat me all the time asking me like what I'm using, what I'm wearing. You guys ask me about like my accessories and like clothes and just like different things that I use that I show you guys on Snapchat. So. I figured I would just make a video where I just kind of show you guys and share with you guys the things that I'm just totally loving right now. And I literally have a plethora of things. I have like hair products and like tools and makeup and like skincare. Um, I have some accessories, some little gadgets. So I'm really, really excited to be sharing all of this with you guys because this is literally the things that I'm obsessed with right now. And if you follow me on like Twitter or Snapchat or keep up with me on Instagram stories, I think a lot of these things will be really familiar to you guys. So if you want to see what I'm currently obsessed with, make sure you continue watching. All right, so I literally have it all laid out in front of me. Um, I'm just going to kind of like pick things up and just kind of show you guys. So this right here, this is from Tarte and this is the Pack Your Bags eye gels. I am literally obsessed with these. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, you guys know like whenever I'm traveling or if I have like a big event the next day, I literally always have these on. They're really, really awesome because they're these little gel pads and you put them underneath your eyes and it just literally gives your eyes, your under eyes, a lot of hydration and it makes them look really smooth. They don't look puffy. I really, really like these when I'm traveling. I'm really excited because I'm actually gonna jump on a flight as soon as I'm done filming this video. So I'm definitely gonna take off this makeup and pop these on. But they're really, really awesome because they just make you look completely refreshed and like you got 48 hours of sleep and it just makes the makeup application so much better and smoother. The creases under the eyes from concealer or powder is like no longer there when I apply these. So if you have like a big event or anything that you really kind of just want to look, you know, extra refreshed for, these are definitely a must have. So the next thing that I'm currently obsessed with, uh, this is kind of not even just currently, this is just like since I found this in my life. This is the Benefit Total Moisture Facial Cream. I have a brand new one because I ran out, so I like hit them up and was like, I need more of my facial cream. So I just got a delivery and I got a bunch of these. The reason that I love this moisturizer so much is because it is so lightweight on my skin, um, but the amount of hydration that it gives my skin is really, really nice and it's not overwhelming. Like have you guys ever put on like some type of moisturizer and it, sometimes it can feel like it's a little like overwhelming on the skin. Like this feels super, super light. It gives my skin a beautiful surface to apply makeup on. Um, I use this morning and night. Uh, and it's just a really good kind of like across the board, whether you're dry, whether you're oily, whether you're combination, it's just a really, really great moisturizer to have. So definitely recommend this baby right here. The next thing that I want to share with you guys is a couple of lip products that I'm really obsessed with. I wear these all the time. The first thing that I wanted to share with you guys is this Joy Essential Lip Enhancer. Uh, I'm sure you guys have seen me use this in other videos, but this is just a really, really great um, like a lip balm. Um, it smooths out the lips completely and I feel like when you apply product on your lips on top of this, it just looks so much better. And now that we're kind of heading into like the fall, more drier months, this is going to be your best friend. Now this liquid lipstick, I am I wear this all the time. It's the Smashbox. It's the always on liquid lipstick and this is in the shade On Demand. What I really love about this specific formula is it is so lightweight, it does not feel uncomfortable. Some liquid lips, I can feel a little uncomfortable. This feels super light, it moves, your lips move, it doesn't transfer, and the colors are beautiful. It's like the perfect pinky nude. I'm gonna swatch it for you guys right over here. It's just like the perfect pinky nude shade. I actually have it on right now. I just mixed a little bit of a lighter color just to kind of lighten it up a little bit. But it's a great color. If you're someone that is obsessed with nudes, this is definitely like a must have in your collection. The next thing that I'm obsessed with, I actually stole this from somebody and they ended up buying me one because I, I'm obsessed with it. But it's the Kylie Cosmetics Lip Gloss and this is in the color so cute and it is so cute i'm a big nudie person i love nude so this goes really really great on top of any nude it's a little bit more on the opaque side though so it does kind of wash out the lips like a lighter tone if you're wearing a darker lipstick but other than that the formula it's a little bit thicker and heavier than what i would like it to be but the color and the staying power of this gloss is really what i'm obsessed with if you haven't tried these lip products make sure you guys 
check these out. There's two things that I kind of can't function without as of lately, and that is this Glomi selfie light and this pop socket for my phone. This pop socket has literally changed my life, and I literally have turned all my friends on to them because I, everyone asks me like, what is that, what is that? And I literally sit there and have like this five minute conversation of how this little gadget has changed my life. I feel like I need to become like a brand ambassador for PopSocket. So if you're watching PopSocket, call me. Uh, but yeah, this is a really, really awesome little gadget for your phone. It's like a little accordion. Uh, you pop it out, kind of looks like that. And uh, it just makes the functionality of holding your phone a lot easier. If you're someone like me that's always like Snapchatting and taking selfies, it just makes like, look at that, like holding your phone, it's just so much more comfortable. I'm not worried about like dropping my phone. And I just switched to the 7 Plus. I always just had like a normal phone, so it's a little bit bigger than what I'm used to. So having this pop socket in my life just makes it so much easier for, for me to maneuver the phone and like if I'm texting, like it just makes it a lot easier for me to kind of work with the phone. Um, this Glomi is life-changing because it literally kind of just, you turn it on and it's like a ring light for your phone. Uh, and it has a few different settings. You can kind of go like from bright, to brighter, to the brightest, and you just literally clip it on your phone, which is the cool part because it fits on anyone's phone, and it's not like an annoying case where it's kind of a little bit bulkier. So what I do is I normally just keep this like in my bag, and then when I'm out and about with my friends and we're in the club turning up, you just turn on your little glow-me light, and you are pretty much good to go, and the selfie game has never been stronger, ever, until you have one of these. You guys are always asking me what I use to style my hair. I just went blonde if you didn't notice. Um, and I've been really, really liking this finishing cream. This is from Way. If you haven't heard of Way, it's uh, created by Jen Atkin, and she's a celebrity, celebrity. And she is a celebrity hairstylist. She is like the Kardashians go-to. She's been working with them for years, and she developed her own line called Way. I love a lot of their products. I love their um, texturizing spray, but I really, really love this finishing cream because I put it on my hair before I blow dry, and it's not a product that makes my hair feel heavy, but it also doesn't make it feel like too clean. It still kind of gives it a little bit of texture because we all know if your hair is a little too clean, it kind of makes it a little bit more difficult to kind of like style and mold it and maneuver it. So this really kind of allows me to uh, have a really nice blow dry, but still kind of have like that lived in texture to kind of manipulate and maneuver it a little bit more. So I would definitely recommend this if you have short hair or if you kind of want to style your hair kind of similar to mine. Um, or if you just want a little bit of texture to your hair when you blow dry so this is definitely a great product to have i always get asked what i do as far as like my skincare or removing my makeup i don't use any makeup removers i know that's bad i keep one in my shower though so i do use it when i shower but when i'm coming home and i just want to take off my makeup i use these neutrogena makeup wipes and these are the night calming wipes they smell really really great and they completely remove everything off of your face like literally like one wipe is all it takes I used to use different makeup wipes but I found that they would like burn or um, they were a little too rough on my skin or like the actual texture of the wipe was a little too gritty but this is absolutely perfect I keep I literally have these everywhere I go to Costco and I buy a whole bunch and I keep them everywhere I have them in my office and my car and my studio I have them on my nightstand I have them in my bathroom and it's just really really easy um, after like a long day just come home and if you just throw yourself on the bed you can just reach over to your nightstand grab a little wipe and take care of all that makeup so if you haven't tried these you need you need these in your life you cannot go on any further without these if you haven't noticed i've been super obsessed with chokers and i always thought that i couldn't wear chokers i just always kind of felt a little weird with them but as of lately i've just been like rocking them and owning them so i wanted to share with you guys a couple of my favorites and where i got them from so the first one is just this cute little like gold bar choker and i think it's just like the perfect piece to just kind of like throw on with anything like, I mean, I just popped it on right now and I think it just totally like added what was missing. I was trying to figure it out and I just figured it out looking at the monitor. I really like this little diamond one because it has long kind of like strings. So you can kind of create your own style with them. I like to just layer it and just kind of tie it in the back and let the long strings just kind of hang around the back. Or you can like wrap it around. Um, totally up to you. 
And these chokers are actually from a jewelry line called Princess P Jewelry. She actually just opened a store here in um, Studio City where I live. And I went there the other day and I just picked up a whole bunch. I'm obsessed with this one. I haven't found the perfect thing to wear this for because I feel like it's a little much for just like, just running a Target or whatever. But I really, really love this one because of all the diamonds. And then I picked up this really cute like rose gold one. So yeah, if you're into chokers like I am, I will put all of the information for the site and you guys can pick up some fun chokers. If you're someone like me, you don't always have a lot of time to get ready and you need something that is just like a big bang with minimal work. And I've been obsessed with this. This is from Tom Ford. This is the cream and powder eye color. And this is in the shade Naked Bronze. I'm not sure if this was like a limited summer situation. I know that it was a part of like their summer collection and line, but it basically looks like this. And it's really, really awesome because you open it and it's like a cream shadow. I've been using it a lot, if you can't tell. I'll swatch it for you guys. Uh, it's so blendable, like it literally moves really, really nicely on the eyes, but it's just like a really nice golden bronze. And you can literally take it with your finger all over your lid and then just take like a fluffy blending brush and buff it out. You can run it under your lash line, but it really creates a big kind of like, it creates a nice color and a wash of color with very minimal work. And the cool part about it is on the top, it has this kind of little shimmery situation and you can just pick it up with your finger and it's meant to go over that shadow. It looks a little glittery, but it also kind of, to me, it almost has a little bit of like a wet texture. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it just gives it a really nice kind of sheen. So this is a really, really easy way. Like if you don't have a lot of time to get ready, just pop it on and then throw the little sparkles on top. And then you have like this really glamorous, beautiful eye look with very minimal work. So definitely recommend these. I wanted to make it a point to share with you guys something that was a little bit more on the inexpensive side. Always been a big fan of this brand, which is ColourPop and all of their shadows. I'm obsessed with their Super Shock shadows. So I wanted to share some of my favorite shades with you guys. These shadows are so inexpensive, you guys. I believe they're like $5 on the website. And I mean, you can't go wrong. And the colors are beautiful. The pigment is beautiful. They're so easy to work with and apply. I use them all the time. I just wanted to share with you guys some of my favorites. This one is called Paisley. And with these, I normally just apply them with my finger. I normally just pick it up and they have like a nice kind of moussey, wet kind of texture. And they just go on so beautifully. Like this one is really, really nice and light and has some nice little specks in it. So if you're kind of wanting to just do something like an everyday look or something more natural, you can literally just pop this on your eyes and call it a day. I love this one because this one is kind of serving me fall vibes. This one is called Cricket and I'm going to pick it up with my finger and I'll swatch it next to this one. And this one's more like of a purple. Um, shade so this would be really really awesome to do with like a smoky eye if you have brown eyes this is definitely gonna make them pop and the last one that I'm really loving this one is serving me like Thanksgiving vibes because for Thanksgiving I think of like turkey and cranberry and this is like a cranberry shade this one is called muse it looks like this and I'm just gonna run my finger in this and it's a beautiful kind of like ooh, I had a little bit of the other one. Uh, but it's a beautiful kind of like burgundy color and they all have like a really nice metallic sheen to them. So if you haven't checked out ColourPop, make sure you guys check them out. If you haven't tried their Super Shock Shadows, you're totally missing out. Make sure you guys pick some up and let me know what you think. One of the things that I always get asked is what I use to touch up my makeup. I do touch up my makeup throughout the day and I always do it with this baby right here. And this is the Pure Cosmetics 4-in-1 Mineral Powder. This one is for their 10-year uh, anniversary, I believe. So they did like a special kind of like bedazzled little compact. And you open it and it looks like this. And I keep this in my bag at all times. It's a great touch-up powder because it's a mineral powder. So it's not going to make my face look any more cakey. It's not gonna kind of like layer on and spackle on more product. It just really gives my skin a really nice airbrushed finish. I use this to set my makeup, um, but I really like to keep this in my bag just because I think it's beautiful and it looks really pretty in, in my bag. And when I pull it out, um, everyone's like gagging because it's like pretty and sparkly, but it's just, it's a really, really nice powder. Super, super soft and beautiful and velvety on the skin so if you're looking for a great setting powder or a powder to kind of keep in your bag to touch up with this mineral 4-in-1 is definitely 
a must. And the last thing that I wanted to share with you guys, it's actually uh, something that's been a little top secret and you guys are the first ones to know. I've been obsessed with this brush because I created it and it is coming this holiday to my line. Artist Couture, if you guys don't follow already, make sure you guys follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, and that's Artist Couture across all of those socials or visit the website artistcouture.com. But you guys are the first to know and see our fan brush. It's been something that we've just needed for so long. Um, we're basically known for like our highlighting powders, our diamond glow powders, and we had tools once upon a time in the past and then we kind of like took them away as of lately everyone's been asking for tools and brushes so we just decided you know what let's it's time let's make them let's really kind of go there and we really kind of took our time with kind of like our ideas of how we wanted them and the different fibers that we wanted to use and just like the way that it, I wanted it to look and like the shape and the functionality so this is coming this holiday to the line and I'm really really excited about it because it's something that I have just been using every single day. It makes my life easy. You guys know that I always use a fan brush with applying my highlight, but now it's awesome because I'm able to use my own. And yeah, so I hope that you guys are excited about this because this is coming this holiday along with some other great goodies and a few things that are kind of just for the holiday limited edition. And we're also doing some collabs with a few influencers. Um, that I cannot wait to share with you guys. Uh, I can't spill all the beans just yet. I can only show you this for right now, but make sure you guys stay tuned for the rest of holiday. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I wanted to make it a point to do things that weren't just like beauty products. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys like this video, make sure you guys thumbs it up. Make sure you guys leave me a comment and let me know if you guys want me to do more videos like this. Um, should I do them like every month and do like a monthly favorites or should I just kind of do it here and there when I have like a new batch of things that I'm obsessed with? Let me know what other looks you guys want me to be creating for you guys. Uh, to tutorials. I'm still trying to get in the swing of this YouTube world and land because it's definitely uh, a lot of work and it's definitely different than kind of just taking a picture and uploading it to Instagram or Snapchatting. Um, and I want to make sure that I'm creating what you guys want to see. I was thinking about maybe doing like those cool fun challenges. So let me know. I don't know. Let me know if there's something that you guys want me to do. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. There is uploads every Wednesday. And yeah, if you're not already, make sure you guys follow me across all social media and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.